Imagine this, a solar flare just slammed into Earth. Power grids fried worldwide. What are your first personal steps to survive the chaos? City by city, the lights blink out. Silence replaces the hum of modern life. Traffic freezes, your phone goes dark. In a Carrington-level superstorm today, magnetic currents would melt transformers. No quick fix. Repairs could take years. No power means no water pumps, no gas stations, no refrigeration, no communications. Hospitals overwhelmed, panic in cities. But you can prepare and act fast in the first hours. Water stops flowing, store shelves empty quickly, information goes scarce. Your best chance is decisive action early. Take a deep breath. You don't need everything. You need priorities. Start your 24-hour checklist now. Secure basics before stores empty or roads clog. Water. First, fill every container, bathtubs, pots, bottles. City water stops without pumps. Aim for one gallon per person per day, minimum three to seven days. If safe, collect rainwater later. Food supply, grab non-perishables, canned goods, dry foods, energy bars. Organize your pantry. No fridge means eat perishables first. Cash and fuel, make sure to keep a little cash on hand. Bank machines won't work. Collect as much gas as you can. Light and heat, flashlights, batteries, candles, matches. Dress warm in layers. In winter, seal windows to retain heat. Communication and info, Use a hand crank radio for emergency broadcasts. Meet family at a pre-planned spot if phones are dead. Protect home. Unplug surviving gadgets to avoid surges. Board windows if unrest starts. Stay inside initially. Avoid crowds. Health and sanitation. Secure medications, first aid and sanitation. Use buckets for toilets if water stops. Stay put if safe. Conserve energy and coordinate with neighbors for security. After day one, ration supplies, purify water, boil if you can make fire, use filters or tablets when available, grow food if possible, communities rebuild, history shows we adapt. Prepare now with a go bag and a simple household plan to make this survivable. This is extreme prep for an extreme event, but being ready saves lives. What would you do first? Comment below.